Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would do a quick get ready with me. I have not done one of these in forever. I've been off YouTube for a while, and in general I haven't done many of these videos, but recently I've gotten back into makeup, and so I wanted to show you guys a few new products that I've purchased and just do like a fun makeup look. Honestly, I have not been doing my makeup a lot. I have like a very basic look that I always go for, whether I'm going to the grocery store or going out with my friends. I don't do a ton with my makeup, so I thought that since I have time, I would sit down today and film a video where I can dive a little bit deeper into some of my new makeup and just do a fun look for once because normally I don't have time with the kids to do this, but um, today I do. <laughs> so I just took a shower about an hour ago. My hair is still a little bit damp if you can't tell, but I washed my face. I still have my lashes on. I've been using the Falscara lashes from Kiss. I used to subscribe to Lashify, but I've been having trouble getting on their website lately. They like redid their website and I can't get on it anymore. So these are what I've been using. I took apart the package. The light is super. I don't know if you guys can tell. I only have a couple lashes left, but I've been loving this product and I absolutely love this little tweezer thing for your lashes that it comes with. It's so cute. So that's what I have on. This is day three. I don't know if you guys can see them. Um, this is day three of the lashes on and they're holding up pretty well and I showered with them on. So anything that saves me time, I love. So first what we're going to do is moisturize our skin. Uh, this is a product that I use, it's probably one of the only products I use on my face, honestly. I use micellar water to clean my makeup off, and then I also use um, this. I think this is also like a, like a hydrating micellar water, but it's from Pacifica. Um, honestly, I bought it because I thought the bottle was really cute. It's glass. So adorable. Um, so I use that and then this is the only like moisturizer type of thing that I use. I've been using it for probably a year and I got it off Amazon. It's just retinol cream, anti-aging firming cream. There's still a ton of it left and I just like the way that it makes my skin feel. So we're going to take some of that and put it all over. I don't use... Um, What's it called? I don't use primer. I never have. I just don't think that I need it. And I'm pretty much about like the less products on my face, the better. So I think moisturizer is just fine or some kind of FPF, S, F, SPF. Um, does like the same thing, right? As long as your skin is hydrated underneath, the makeup will apply better. I just exfoliated in the shower, so I think we're good to go. This is my little makeup bag. So all of my makeup that I use daily, I put in here, and then I have like my whole vanity full of other makeup that I really have not touched, I swear to God, in like over a year. Do not judge my brushes or any of my makeup, like I said, you guys, I just, I'm really lazy with this stuff. So it's nothing extravagant. Um, I, have, I have both name brand stuff and drugstore stuff. I use a combination of both, depending on what the budget calls for when I run out of stuff. So first we're gonna go in with our IT CC cream. And I'm fairly light, although I'm a little bit tanner because it is summer right now. But I am in the shade fair so uh we're just gonna take a few pumps if i even have any of this left all right so that's as much as i could get out of this guy so i'm probably gonna go in also with we'll use this um maybelline maybelline dream radiant liquid and I am in the color porcelain ivy. Oh my God, I'm so pale. So we're just gonna kind of combine our foundations. 
I actually combine foundations a lot, especially in the summer. I will, are you serious? <laughs> combine um, different shades to make my tan shade. Oh my God, am I out of this too? <laughs> We're batting zero over here. Um, <laughs> All right, I do have another foundation in here, oddly enough. This is the Tarte foundation. Um, I have so much of this left because honestly, the formula was a little thick for me. I like my foundations a little bit lighter. Oh, and it's broken. Obviously, I'm gonna have to buy some new foundation later today. So we basically have a mixture of three different foundations on the back of my hand right now. So we're gonna just combine these together and I'm gonna get a new facial sponge because I am not showing you guys my dirty, disgusting makeup sponge that I usually use. So we're just gonna pretend that this is the one I always use. So I'm just gonna mix it on the back of my hand. Move my hair out of the way. Okay, and I'm gonna try my best. I have a mirror down here but I'll try to look up in the viewfinder as well. We'll see if this is okay for my skin color right now. I don't mind if my foundation is slightly lighter because I know that I'm gonna contour it and darken it up a little bit, but I just wanna even out. I have a few acne scars and my freckles come out in the summer a lot, so. I'm just trying to cover up some of that stuff. And I'm definitely gonna need some more foundation. Hopefully we can squeeze a little bit more out. I'm gonna go in with concealer after this so I'm not too worried if I don't have a ton of foundation on. But like I said, I'm just trying to even out my skin tone a little bit. And I always put foundation like literally on my ear as well. I think we're almost good. Okay. Next, we're gonna go in with our foundation. No. Next, we're gonna go in with our concealer. And I have two new concealers that I've been using. For years and years and years, I have used the Tarte Shape Tape. I swear by this stuff, I still think it's the best formula. But recently I have ventured out a little bit. I went to Target the other day and I bought um, two different concealers there because I'm trying this like liquid uh, contour thing, which I have never done before. But I got the Morphe number two um, hide, hide and Peak Concealer in the shade Peak of Fawn. So I use this under my eyes and uh, like highlight things as a little lighter concealer. And then I got the Revlon Colorstay Skin Awaken concealer. And this is obviously like super, super dark, but I use it around my forehead and to uh, contour my cheeks and my nose and things like that. So I purposely bought it in a shade that was going to be really dark for me to contour with. So, um, and I like this one because it's got one of those... Nope, it's a twist. Uh, one of those like sponge applicators and I love these. I just like the way that they apply and how they feel. I'm gonna put this right under my eyes. And my other one. Beautiful. A little out here. And we're also gonna put some down the side of our nose. Okay, I'll do the forehead, and then I'm also going to do my chin here, and I have a little pimple right here, and I think, yep, yeah, I've got a little pimple under here too. We're going to cover all of our little marks, I get red under my nose, so we're going to get that guy really good too. Okay, and then before we blend that out, I'm just gonna add the dark 
I already have a decent amount of product on here, but I'll squeeze it up a little bit. And then we're gonna go around our forehead. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose. I like to make the center of my nose a little darker and the sides lighter. I know some people do it the opposite, but for me personally, that's how I like to contour my nose. Do our cheekbones. And then I'm actually going to do under here a little too. And I do two lines here where my neck is. I think we're going to do a line in here. I swear I do this a different every time I do it because I don't really have like a set way. But I do always start blending with the lighter shades first. So we're going to go under our eye and blend all this out before it sets. And I put it on my eyelids too as kind of like an eyeshadow base. I don't normally wear eyeshadow at all, but today I am. So we're just going to use our concealer as our primer. Okay, my forehead. My nose, I always get my nose really good. Okay, so most of our lighter shade is blended out. So now I'm going to go in and kind of buff out all those dark, crazy lines. And then you can see that it's not as crazy as it looks once it's all buffed out. And then we're going to set it with some powder. And it just kind of gives more of like a tan glow. looking okay um, I'm going to set my under eye only with where is it? yes the cover girl clean fresh the pink one and fair 120 I do have some wrinkles under the hair so just trying to make those less noticeable I don't use a ton of product just a little bit. I don't want it to look like super cakey either. Um, and then maybe right here, just so it doesn't get super shiny as well. Okay, next we're gonna set uh, the more tan, darker spots of our contour with the e.l.f. bronzer. Um, what is this? Primer infused bronzer is what it says. Forever Sun Kissed by e.l.f. So I go in with a brush that I use literally for everything. I think this is Sonia Kushik, however you say it, from Target. So we're just going to go in with our bronzer and then just go over all the spots that we put the darker contour to kind of just to set that on your forehead. Right under your cheekbone. And then we're going to bring it under here as well and down the two sides of our neck. And I always get behind my ear as well in case I throw like my hair up or anything. Down my chest a little bit. Just making sure it looks all good. I have been using uh, this cream blush. And I just ordered a new one from Amazon and it was supposed to be delivered today, but it's not going to be delivered till way later tonight. So I did not wait around for it, although I'm really excited to try that one. I can always show you guys uh, what I got in another video, but this one I actually got from the dollar store when I was there with my kids and I've been using it for about a month now and I like it. It works just fine. It's LA Colors Cream Gel Blush and this is in the shade Tainted Love. So it's just creamy and I usually just take it with my finger and I put like a few dots on my cheek. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I 
just came squirting out a few dots it's actually really pigmented i also put a little bit on my nose and a little bit on my forehead just as like a sun kissed almost like you got burned a little bit in the sun and i blend that out so I just like it. It's creamy and it kind of gives like a dewy blush foundation instead of like a matte powdery. It just kind of adds like a nice, I don't know. I've been liking the dewier products that make me look almost like sweaty, especially in the summer. Yeah, pretty. So there's that. Um, and then last for our face, I'm going to be using my favorite highlighter. I don't know where I got this. I think my sister gave me this palette. It's Cover FX. And I obviously have beat this palette to death. My bronzer is pretty much gone. Love this blush. Um, but this highlighter right at the top here uh, just says brightener on it. Let me see. Moon Beam Brightener Illuminator. I use this for everything. It's super, super light and I don't know what it is. I just like it. I always just go in with my finger and then I'm going to highlight my nose. So I put like a little dot at the tip, a little circle of highlighter. And then I'll do like a little, little line right up here. And then I'm just kind of blend it in with my fingers like that just to give a little glow if you guys can see it and then right above where I put my blush kind of almost next to my eye I give that same highlighter right there just to give more of that like fresh dewy summer glow oh yes we'll do a little more on the side and then sometimes I do my widow's peak right here. We're going to be putting lipstick on today. So I think this kind of just like highlights that little area. Um, I'm going to be using the lightest shade. This is the, I think this is Kat Von T shade light eye contour palette. This is like forever years old. Um, this, I love this palette. I obviously love this color. I think we're going to be going in with these two shades and probably this shade up here. I am going to add a little bit of shimmer in my eye since we're going for more of a dewy look. So I'm going to be pulling the Tarte. What is this? Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette from Tarte. And we're going to go in with their lightest because it's got, this is all of a shimmery palette. I just want to add some shimmer like in the corner of my eye. Go in with the shade right here. Just as kind of a neutral base for my eyes. And apply it all over the corner. I probably apply it like halfway, honestly. Same thing with this eye. And then I'm gonna go in with this big shade up here. This is a really good neutral tone on me. I love that for blending. I don't know what it's called. I Zaris or is that an L? Lazarus? I Zaris? I don't know. I'm terrible at names. And he's going to be kind of our transition shade. Matte, darker, rocket. Right there. Same thing on the other side. All right, now we're gonna grab that shimmer color from this palette, then the lightest shade. I don't know what the name of it is, but we're gonna pack some shimmery right in the corner and then bring it out a little bit and drag it a little bit around our upper lid line. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit down here as well. Looking good. I think we're going to grab this like brown color down there just to deepen it a little bit. 
trying to do this in the viewfinder. Blend it out my finger a little bit. Okay, same thing over here. And then I think I'm gonna take that same darker color. Where'd it go? I have like a little brow angle brush here and we're gonna use uh, that same brown color that we just went into, this darker one over here, and just kind of fill in underneath as well. So I'm just gonna take a little of that. We're gonna drag and blend that out a little bit. And then I kind of blend it into the color that we have up here. I will take my sponge and just kind of clean up my edges a little bit. I don't put any more product on or anything, I just use, sorry, my leg just kicked you guys. Um, I don't put any more product on this. I just clean up my edges with the product that's left from the sponge, but that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to go in. This is um, a Wonder Pencil. It's just a very light uh, pencil. I use it in my water eye line on the bottom to brighten my eyes up a little bit. just to brighten things up a little. There we go. Like I said, I already have my Falscara Kiss lashes on top, day three of wearing them. So I'm, I'm gonna add some of my mascara though on the bottom. This is the Sky High Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara. I have been using the Maybellines uh, for forever. I have the pink one in these as well, and this one, the black. I just love the formula of it. I think it goes on really smooth. So we're gonna be using this for our under eyelashes. Okay, I just uh, paused the video because I was out of recording space. So I had to delete some of my old footage, but I just put mascara on my bottom lash and now I'm gonna do the other side quick. Okay, so there is um, my eye look super easy um, almost done we're gonna do eyebrows and then lips so for my eyebrows I'm using brow stylus definer by L'Oreal in dark blonde my eyebrows are fairly light so I don't like to go too dark I try to match them as best I can and I'm gonna make a defined arch here and then just kind of bring it down a little bit. And we're not gonna to go too heavy in there, but there's one. We're gonna do the same thing over here. I have rounded eyebrows and this one has more of an arch than this side, but I try my best to make this eyebrow match that one and almost like give it an arch. So we'll see. Bring this down a little. And fill it in a little bit up here. Okay. I think they're pretty good. Just gonna comb them out. I do not own any brow gel or anything like that. So I think that's usually how I leave it. Now we can do lipstick. So I recently bought two new lipsticks. Ah, oh, I think I left the other one downstairs. Hang on, let me go grab it. 
Okay, I'm back. Uh, I threw this one in my purse because I have been loving the shade so much. But these are both the L'Oreal brand and I really, really loved the packaging. This one is more of a rose gold and it's got like a gold band around it. And this one is a clear case, which I thought was interesting with a silver band around it. They're both nudes. The clear case, this is in shade 180, beige Eden, Eden. And this one is in shade 172 and it's nude, oh god, nutrimine, nutrimine? Oh, I'm terrible names, you guys. I probably butchered both of those, but these are the shades. I will swatch them for you on the back of my hand. I don't know which one I want to go with, but this one is a really, really creamy, um, moisturizing formula. Like, it almost feels like I'm putting chapstick on, but it's a really pretty, uh, just neutral, cool-toned nude. So I really love that one. Still a really creamy formula though. You can see them kind of glisten. This one has more of a purpley undertone. If you can see it on camera, this is definitely more corally. Mm. Hmm. I don't know which one I want to go with. I think we're going to go with the rose gold one, the 172. I just feel like I want a little bit more color on my lips and the... Um, the purple toned one I think might wash me out a little bit today. So I'm going to take one of my cotton swabs and my micellar water and just clean up my lips a little bit. We're just going to clean the foundation and makeup off. It's so creamy. Oh, and it smells so good. It's got almost like a floral smell, but it's not super overpowering. It's like, it's like sweet. I don't know. I love the smell of lipstick. Okay. So there is the look. Um, for my hair, I don't really know what I'm doing with my hair. Honestly, I usually just leave it down. I don't even brush it when I get out of the shower. I let it air dry and it kind of makes like a little bit of wave crinklies. If anything, I'll take my straightener. Actually, maybe I'll do that. Do you guys want to see that? It's a little bit damp still. Well, it's not terribly damp. All right, we'll throw some beach waves. I'll show you guys how I do my beach waves with my hair straightener, just in the front here. Um, I like my hair, especially in the summer, to look very like messy. I don't care because I know that I'm either gonna get really sweaty with the kids or end up throwing it up in one of my big banana clips. So I try to go, if I'm gonna style it for the least effort that I possibly can while still making it look kind of cute. So let me plug in my straightener and then I'll show you guys how I style my hair. Okay. We're gonna try to do this hair in under like seven minutes. Um, we're gonna spray some of my heat protector on it. I use the Eve NYC. This stuff can get very oily very quick, at least on my hair. So I hold it way far back and a little goes a long way. It smells absolutely divine. We're just gonna take this first strip here. I should probably turn my straightener on. This is the Duval, Duvali, Duval. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a discount link down in the description box below for this. I was sent this over a year ago and it's still my favorite straightener. It's their infrared straightener. It heats up so fast and it just does everything. So I use it to curl my hair, I use it to straighten my hair. It's just probably one of my go-to hair products ever. So this heats up, it's probably already done. Um, so I'm just going to grab my front corner piece. I grab, my hair is kind of angled in the front here, so I try to grab a good chunk to where it's short and long here. And then 
I curl kind of away from my face, just like you would a straightener. Ugh, straightener, a curling iron is what I meant. Hold it there for a minute and then it just kind of adds a little bit, a little bit of wave to it, which is all I really care about. I'll comb through it with my fingers a little. And I honestly don't even go all the way to the bottom. My ends, I don't care if they're a little bit straight. We're just trying to get like the middle section to be a little bit curled, just like that. But you can always put your fingers through it. You guys kind of get the point. Let me do a few on this side if I can though, but I think I'm gonna leave the back half of my hair straight, at least for this video. I'll finish it off camera, uh, but I don't wanna like completely fry my hair. So again, I go away on this side, away from the face, curl it. You can leave your ends out. It's not really a full curl, it's just like a beachy, beachy hair. Flip, I probably do like two flips. if my Amazon is here because I hear my dogs barking okay so you guys get it the ends are kind of straight but the middle is like you run your fingers through it zhuzh it up a little bit I'm leaving the whole back of my head I won't even show you guys um, but it's just kind of beachy fun easy all with my straightener okay you guys that is it for my get ready with me video thank you so much for watching if you liked videos like this make sure to give me a big thumbs up and leave your comments down below which one of these products was your favorite have you guys used any of these products are there products that you would recommend for me let me know in the comments below and maybe i can do another get ready with me video and try out some new products with you guys i love you if you haven't subscribed already, consider subscribing to my channel and I will catch you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.